we've come to a very special part of our, our worship service today where I have the great privilege to welcome several new members into the fellowship of our local church. Amen. And I, I just got to say, personally, I believe that you are about to join one of the most blessed churches with some of the greatest people this side of heaven. Well, that's my, my fault. Uh, and as a, as a Church of God congregation, we are a member of the International Church of God. We recognize formal membership in the local church based on four reasons. Number one, a biblical reason. Christ is committed to the church. The Bible tells us that if Christ is committed, how many of you know we should be as well? The second is a cultural reason. It's an antidote to society. We live in a day and age when folks do not want to be committed to anything. So being committed to church, it's an antidote to how our society and our world functions. And it proves that we believe this is something worthy of our commitment. Number three, it's a practical reason. It defines who can be counted on. Every team has to have a roster. Every school has to have an enrollment. Every army has an enlistment. When we have membership, it defines the family. It shows us who can be counted on as a part of the family of the Fairlawn Church of God. And lastly, it's a personal reason. It produces spiritual growth. The Bible tells us that we don't forsake this sin and get yourselves together. Even encourage one another, even more so as you see the day approaching. We believe when you just can't be committed to one particular place, it's hard to be held accountable. So we believe it's a, a produces spiritual growth in us as well. And I just want to commend the, the men and the women. We've probably got one of the largest classes uh, that I've ever been a part of. There's 18 folks who are going to join the church today have taken the church 101 class with me the past two weeks. And they've made a commitment. In the past two weeks, we made a commitment together that we're going to protect the unity of our church. We're going to share the responsibility of our church. We're going to serve the ministry of our church. And lastly, we're going to support the testimony of our church. So I want to ask if those who are uh, joining the church are eligible and have taken those classes with me and are going to be joining this morning, would you please come? And since there are so many, I originally said I could stand on the platform, but I think I'm just going to ask have you stand uh, at the front of the, the, on the floor here and just turn around and face the congregation. But all those who are eligible are joining today, would you please make your way to the front? And as they come with our church family, please let them know how much we love and appreciate them from the bottom of our hearts. Amen. Sweetheart, she had a little fall, I think, yesterday, and but I'm so or a day before, but I'm so glad she was able to be here this morning to, to join with us. All of you folks at the front of the church, you realize today in presenting yourself for membership that you are assuming a solemn obligation. It is expected that you will all be true to your promise and that you will faithfully fulfill and discharge your obligation as a loyal member of the Fairlawn Church of God. Do you publicly confess today, each and every one of you, and testify that you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior in the full pardon of your sins? Let me say I do. Thank you. Are you willing today to walk in the light of the Scripture as it shines upon your path? Are you willing to abide by and to subscribe to the disciplines of the Church of God as outlined in the Scripture and as set forth by the minutes of our General Assembly. Are you willing to support the Church, the Fairlawn Church of God, with your attendance and your temporal means to the best of your ability as the Lord prospers you? Do you agree to be subject to the counsel and admonition of those who are over you in the Lord? If there be any member who has a legal objection to any of these becoming members to the church, the objector may now so state. Then by the authority invested in me as an ordained bishop in the church of God, I take great pleasure in welcoming you into the membership of the Fairlawn Church of God. And may I encourage you to call for the services of your pastor and for your leaders whenever they are needed. And I have confidence in every one of you that you will be, you already have been, and you'll continue to be a faithful member to the Fairlawn Church of God, and you will be, without a doubt, a blessing to our church as much as the blessing church will be a blessing to each and every one of you. And I, I, I 
tread lightly here to even begin to do this because I know how my mind works. But I'm going to attempt to introduce these folks to you. <laughs> this is Jason and Kayla Harris. They came to us a few months ago and were like, this is coming to me. April, okay, they came to so glad. This is Kayla's sweet mother, Joyce Price. This is Sister Donna Hader. And she actually took the class in May, but was not able to be here the morning that we did the formal recognition of public, so we're good to have her. This is Eddie and his sweet wife, Jocelyn, Shelby's brother, so glad that they have come back many, many years ago as well to Donna. And they came back. This is Fred and Ruby Stone. This is Danny and Shell Harrison. And that is Danny's mom, her husband. This is Jessica Jordan. We have her with us. This is Minnie Gano. I'm not sure who this gentleman is. Who's to remind me? Reverend Jay Gale, are you pastor? So if you didn't join the church, you're going to go to heaven. And this is Gary and Glenda Tibbs. Wonderful folks, beautiful family. Their daughter, Minnie Tibbs. This is Edward and Dora Green, folks that have come to us. A while back, we're so glad to have you in the precious family. And then this young lady, I'm not sure if you're next week, are this? Is this your daughter? Okay, with Cameron? Cameron. Cameron, this is their daughter, Cameron. And then 